Hello Mila, hello Jack, hello everyone. Welcome back to Storytime with Grandad. Today's book is from the Thomas and Friends series and this one's called Molly. It was a blustery evening on the island of Sodor. Thomas was passing through one of his favourite stations. Toot toot, called Thomas to the station master. Thomas liked this station because every evening the station master put up lots of lanterns all along the platform. But Thomas was also busy thinking about the next day. I wonder what Molly, the new engine, will be like, he chuffed. When Thomas pulled into Brendam Docks the next morning, he spotted Molly straight away. She was waiting in the siding, looking very sad. What's the matter? puffed Thomas. Emily made fun of me because I have to take empty trucks to the coaling plant, replied Molly sadly. Just then, the signal turned red. Gordon thundered past with the express. You wait there, he chuffed. My express is more important than you empty trucks. Molly chugged off very sadly. As Thomas wondered what he could do, the wind blew over some containers covered in the tarpaulin. The tarpaulin began to rustle. That's it, puffed Thomas happily and raced off to find Molly. With the help of Molly's driver, Thomas and Molly covered her trucks with the tarpaulin. With your trucks covered, no one will know that they're empty, explained Thomas. We'll make them think you are carrying a very special delivery. Thomas spent a busy day telling everyone about Molly's special. Percy and Edward were talking to Thomas in Knapford Station when Gordon pulled in. I don't care what you say, puffed Gordon. Nothing can be as important as my express. It can, chugged Thomas angrily. Be at Abbey Station tonight and you will see just how special Molly's special is. As the engines pulled away, Thomas realised what he'd said. How am I going to make Molly's special even more special, Thomas chuffed thoughtfully. He pulled into his favourite station just as the station master was lighting his lanterns. This gave Thomas another idea. Can I borrow your lanterns? he puffed. Although the station master was a little curious, he was happy to lend Thomas his lanterns. Thomas loaded up his trucks and sped off. That evening, Molly waited for Thomas at the coaling plant. Hello Molly, puffed Thomas happily. I've had another idea how to make your special even more special. And Thomas told Molly all about his plan. Very soon, Molly was covered in lanterns and heading happily for Abbey Station. Toot toot, whistled Percy and Emily as Molly arrived at the station. I feel very special, chuffed Molly with a big smile on her face. Thank you, Thomas. Suddenly, a big gust of wind blew right through the station. It lifted the tarpaulin covering Molly's empty trucks and blew out the lanterns. Everyone could see that there was nothing underneath. I knew your trucks couldn't be as important as my express, chuffed Gordon, smiling. Molly screeched out of the station. She wanted to be as far away from all the other engines as possible. Well, chuffed Emily, what are you going to do now, Thomas? Poor Molly, you've just made her look very silly. Thomas, the station master called across the platform. Where's Molly? The fat controller has just phoned. There are engines waiting at the coaling plant. They need Molly's empty trucks so they can deliver the coal. Thomas raced out of the yard looking for Molly. He went all round the island. Eventually he found Molly stopped in a siding. I'm very sorry, apologised Thomas. But I have some really good news, he chuffed merrily. Your empty trucks are important. They need them at the coaling plant right now. But I've nearly run out of coal, sobbed Molly, more upset than before. Don't worry, chuffed Thomas, I'll help you. OK, Thomas, you push and I'll pull, puffed Molly. Very soon the two engines were working together to get Molly and her empty trucks to the coaling plant. The coaling plant engines were very glad to see Molly and her empty trucks. Quick, quick, they chugged. We need to start our deliveries. 
We need your empty trucks to carry the coal. Look how important your trucks are, puffed Thomas. Molly looked around at her trucks being used to help the coaling plant engines and thought how special an engine she was. She was so proud it made her axles tingle. More trucks, more trucks, called out Henry, one of the coaling plant engines. Without a moment's thought, Molly rushed past Thomas whistling. I'll get more trucks. Molly couldn't wait to begin pulling empty trucks again. And I'll help, puffed Thomas. Molly and Thomas raced back to the yard to pick up more trucks. Just as they were leaving the yard with their empty trucks, the signal turned to red. But this time, Gordon and his express had to wait. Out of the way, puffed Molly. Empty trucks coming through. You see, laughed Thomas, sometimes empty trucks are more important than your express. Molly felt even more special. She knew what it was like to be a really useful engine. She was never going to feel bad about pulling empty trucks again. The end. Bye-bye, Mila. Bye-bye, Jack. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.